Hey, hey, hey. Wanted to just jump in the group, see how everybody was doing. We have a full moon coming in tomorrow. I know everybody knows, right? It's all over the place. We saw it come up last night. Absolutely beautiful. But I did just want to take a moment here and really kind of talk about this moon coming in. Very auspicious. It's the second moon of the month. That's why we call it a blue moon. And that energy of the blue moon coming in to really open up our fifth chakra, our throat, and really help us to really voice who we are right now, helping us to show up fully, fully in all aspects of who you are. This is a big moon for change, a big moon to really honor the cycles of your own life, right? It falls right on Halloween, Day of the Dead, All Saints Day, and that is definitely the energy of those cycles of transformation, of the soul energy. And it's also where we talk about the thinning of the veils. And my podcast tomorrow is going to talk all about that, all about some energy that happened with me and how this has shaped my life even today. But that thinning of the veils is happening now. We're in the energy of Scorpio. Scorpio takes us deep. So that veil opens up, that portal opens up between the physical world and the spiritual world, helping you to go right in to access the energy of your own soul is exactly what we need right now. So many shifts are going on in the cosmos. So many shifts are going on in consciousness. We are definitely, definitely in a time of transformation and evolution. Where can you shift? Where can you let go of the struggles and open up from all that you've learned this year? And now is the time, especially tonight into tomorrow, set out the rest of that intention for this month and for your year. The energy is still building until we get to that height of that full moon. So definitely take some time, go into your spirit, ask the questions, what do I need? What is my guidance? What is my next step? These are the questions to ask for your soul's path right now. All right, it's also a good time to go out and cleanse your crystals. Put them in the window, put them outside, all right? We talk about this a lot during the full moon. Not like you have to do it during the full moon, but this particular full moon is a really good one to do it. Honor all of the energy coming forward, especially as women. Honor the changes we're moving through. Honor our ancestors. Honor the witches, the modern witch today, and all that she is capable of doing. Know that we carry that imprint and we can make a change. Get your brooms out, sweep away the old energy and find that modern woman energy within you. Definitely. So take some time tonight when that moon comes up, get out and do a little howling, light a fire, do a ceremony, drink some cacaya, all those many things that we do under this energy to celebrate the cycles of life. All right, take this time for yourself. Check out the podcast tomorrow. I'll be talking more and more about the veils of energy and how we can work with this time even greater on the Empowered Spirit Show. All right, to spirit, to all spirits out there and to yours. Have a good weekend. Check out the podcast tomorrow. Namaste.